let's see some in the hoop designer tips. Let's start with the wizard. The in the hoop wizard allows us to create custom in the hoop designs easily. Start by clicking the open button to select from the built in templates. Scroll through the templates to choose the project that you want to create. Click OK. Now we're ready to customize. You can set the size that you want your design to be. We can change the design by clicking to select the design and then choosing the library option and select a design from the built in library. I'm going to select this cat and click OK. Now you can rotate it if you need to. I don't need to, I'm just going to say OK. Then let's edit the text. In the text box, type the text that you want on your coaster and then click Apply. For instructions for stitching out any of these projects, click the Instructions button. You'll see a set of PDF instructions open on screen. You can review on screen or you can choose to print them. Once you're done, you can close or minimize the instructions. Now we're ready to say OK and add our coaster to the workspace. Now we can do further editing right on our workspace. Let's start with resizing. I just simply select the object and use the handles around the design to click and drag it larger. To align the text, Select the text objects in the sequence view and use the alignment tools to align them to your desired specifications. If you decide you want to work with a different template, select the entire design by going to Edit and Select All. Then choose your In the Hoop Wizard icon and repeat the same steps to select a new project. Choose the project that you want to stitch. Click OK and now you can customize it. So type in your desired text and click the apply button once you're done. Now, if your project is changed, make sure to select your instructions. Once you're done editing, click OK. Now your design has been replaced on the screen with your current project. You can also use your In the Hoop Designer to audition different colors for your design. Select the object you want to change the color. In this case, I'm selecting the text. Hold down your control key to select multiple objects. 
and then right mouse click on the color chip below to set a different color. You can continue to make further edits, resizing if you want, changing text, and making sure that everything is aligned. To change the quilting fill, simply select it on your workspace and choose a different quilting fill from the properties area. The drop down list gives you several different options of fill types. Select the fill type and select your different options under the pattern, pattern category. Then click apply. You can adjust the pattern length by simply increasing or decreasing the number and then click apply. You can also adjust the fonts to a different typeface. Select your fonts by holding the control key and clicking each of your text objects. In your properties area, use the drop down list to select a different font type. Then click apply. And if you want to resize your text, you can click and drag the handles around the text to make it larger or smaller. Here I'm selecting all of the objects and using the center align. To save your file, click File on the File menu, click Save As, give it a name, choose your embroidery file format from the drop down list, and click the location to save your design. Click the Save button, and you're all ready to embroider. If you do have a BabyLock or a Brother wireless embroidery machine, you can send directly to the wireless machine by clicking the Send to Machine icon. Now you're ready to stitch.